I think that when you feel the tingles on your skin and you feel the electrical sensation surging throughout your body, it becomes an immediate self-preservation, get into defensive mode for your human. And that creates just an extreme amount of fear. And that fear manifests in anger, being annoyed, disturbed, frustrated by this sensation that your human does not understand and cannot reason why it's happening in the first place. Well, it's spiritually guided, spiritual communication. And I'm Nicole, founder of Spiritual Guidance Academy, where we help you master your spiritual gifts, learn all about spiritual guidance and spiritual communication, and how to hear from the Most High. I'm a spiritual problem solver. And one of those problems that I constantly see in my clients and our students at SpiritualGuidanceAcademy.com is not understanding what to do when we receive spiritual communication from within the spirit realm. When anything within the spirit realm reaches out to us. And I say anything, it may be something that is ungodly, it could be something godly. It could be an archangel that is communicating with us so that we have received the message that spirit wants us to receive. It could be an ascended loved one. It could be your pet who has ascended on, letting you know that they're okay, letting you know that it's okay to get that next new baby, the new fur baby, and it could be your child who has ascended on, and it could very well be the child that you are praying and hoping to conceive. It can be your spiritual love, your soulmate. It can be your twin flame reaching out and touching you. See, Spiritually guided spiritual communication or SGSC is also known to be intimate or even sexual. People have been known to have spontaneous orgasm and some people have been known to receive what feels like human touch on their body in private areas. It happens. It doesn't mean that it's supposed to happen. It doesn't mean that you have to be okay with it happening. At Spiritual Guidance Academy, we discuss all of that in our spiritual uh, group coaching membership. And I encourage you to get over there and enroll so that your answers can be, or your questions can be answered in a private setting. When energy is reaching out to you, you can get to the point of acceptance and understanding of what type of energy and who exactly it is. You can literally pinpoint, is it your grandma? Is it your mom who passed on? Is it your rabbit who passed on 12 years ago? You can understand and know for sure if it is your twin flame, if it is your highest soulmate. Maybe it's a soulmate of your best friend who passed on or is in the 3D, in the life that you currently live in. However, maybe you two are separated. Maybe there was an argument that happened between you and someone else and they're reaching out to you. They're sending you love. They're hugging you. 
we feel that on a metaphysical level. See, we are the soul within our human. And our human feels what we allow our human to feel. Let me repeat that. We are a dual being. We are multidimensional. We are the soul. We govern the mind inside of our human who governs the brain. Our human sends signals back and forth to our human's brain. That's our human brain, human's brain's job to send signals back and forth through the five senses and we control the mind. A set of cognitive aspects that control our vision imagination, perception, judgment, consciousness, intelligence, thinking, memory, perception, language, our narrative, and also our emotion, instinct, our feelings. We control that. We are the mind. We are the soul within our human. No one knows what the mind looks like. We have seen auras covering the human body. We have seen energy centers in our chakras. We know what a human's brain looks like, but no one knows what your mind looks like. You know, and you live that life within your human. And so every time you feel that connection between other energy that is on the same frequency or vibration or wavelength that you're on. Your human feels it. Why? Because you live within your human and you show through your mind's eye what that looks like. And your human understands it through your communication to your human and your human feels it on a metaphysical level all over your body the waves of sensation the electrical tingling the prickles the feeling that you've just pixelated and broken all apart into little ions and neutrons and atoms and all of it and gone back together within seconds or a timeless moment, millisecond, your human feels all of it, the itching, the crawling sensations, the burning, the waves of energy up and down your back. And when it happens, certain times of the day around certain people during conversation, not to be confused with ASMR, that is totally different from spiritually guided spiritual communication you are in connection with the spirit realm the quantum field you are in connection and communication with the spirit realm for more information and for more help I invite you over to our group coaching membership because we are able to just have more one-on-one -on -one inside of our group and learn from each other. A closed private space, a safe zone, no judgment, guess what? We all understand. We've been there and we're here for you. I'll see you on the inside. And no, you're not crazy. You're awake.